Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to be doing an upgrade of Proxmox 6.4, hopefully to Proxmox 7.0, and we're going to give this a try on a test machine first. So, yeah, I'm just going to set up a virtual machine, and then I'm going to run Proxmox 6.4. We have a uh, VM on it, and then we'll run through the steps right after this. Okay, so I have my Proxmox virtual environment set up and it is running on virtual manager down here. And uh, so what we're gonna, this is just, you can do that with KVM. You can run a VM under a VM, that's not a problem. It just depends on how much resources your machine has, whether or not you can do this. So as you can see, I do have a virtual machine running and we'll bring over the console here so you can see that so i do have an ssh session open with this server and i am going to run the two the pve 627 as they recommended that we do and you can see i have a warning here now i i did do this but i didn't notice any difference in the number of tests it's 19 and 15 and 3 skipped so i guess there really isn't any difference between the, the tech tech full and just doing it by itself so as you can see it passes all that i don't have any ceph set up this is a fairly simple but it does say warning one running guest detected consider migrating or stopping them they don't recommend that you do this update with that up, so let's go ahead and shut this down. <clears throat> and that's down, so uh, let's see what else we got. Resolvable IP address is fine. There's no CIFS. All the nodes seem to fit in the limits. No legacy keys found because I don't have any containers. So no problems found, and other than let's just try this again and see if our warning goes away, and it does. So we should be good to go here. The next thing would be us. <laughs> where I found this was under the notes here for this. And read the forum announcement. They really need to get, personally, I think they really need to get all this together in one place so what I want is the upgrade there we go right there uh, upgrade from 6.x to 7 and here we go I'm gonna do an in place upgrade and they have some preconditions here make sure that your environment is on the latest and today it's 6.4-13 is the latest so we've got that no that's done and uh, also if there's uh, if we want to upgrade uh, the Ceph cluster to Octopus before we start also if I have a co-installed backup server which I don't that's the standalone back uh, Proxmox backup server that is not using the backup utility it has nothing to do with the backup utility inside of Proxmox. A healthy cluster, I don't have a cluster up, so I'm not worried about that. Clusters, of course, being multiple Proxmox hosts. A valid and tested backup of all VMs. Well, I don't care about this one, but yeah, when I do my production one, we will definitely test the VMs and make sure that I can bring them back online. Uh, before I start this upgrade, we need uh, four gig of freed space on the mount point, so we'll check that. <clears throat> and it looks like we're okay. We've got available 16 gigs, so we're okay there. And then check for any uh, known upgrade issues, and then we'll test the upgrade. That's this command right here. And yeah. <laughs> I don't think that really does anything. Move the important virtual machines and containers. Now you can either migrate them off or just turn them on or shut them down. They're saying that on some in some cases the network bridge MAC address may change. Okay, that's fine. 
So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're up to date. and do an APT. I don't know if this is large enough for you to see, so let me, let me make that a little bigger. And I just did a APT distribution upgrade and an update. So I did an update first, and then I did the distribution upgrade. And there's nothing to be done, so all that is good. My next step is there is this you, this right here, which is a sed. That's a stream editor command, and it's going to modify every instance of Buster with Bullseye. And it's looking for updates, security, right? All the, but it probably will skip over. Let's just see what it does. It'll probably skip over. I have a. Uh, repository for no subscription will probably skip over that so I've done that let's go check and see what it did so all right so up here we have dev it's now bullseye this is now bullseye updates this has been modified to bullseye as well and so has this so as far as the repositories are concerned, we should be all set and good to go here. Now, it does say <clears throat> if I have the enterprise one, I'll need to do that one as well. That, that sits now. I have, as, as per their instructions, because I don't have a subscription. I have commented that line out, but if you have a subscription, you will want to follow these directions in order to get that uh, done correctly. So, and then they're talking about <clears throat> making sure the no subscription one is done correctly and what to do if you have Ceph. So at this point, I am ready. To do the APT update now this will refresh all of the packages and as you can see I now have 572 I need to update so we'll go ahead and do the next step which is the distribution upgrade and we'll go ahead and let that run hopefully this will take a while so I'm gonna I'm as always I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll be back when we get to a that what we think is where it's done. So I'm going to uh, continue here for just a second. And you'll notice that it stopped after it fetched all the packages and it says, you're attempting to upgrade from Proxmox 6.4 to 702. Please make sure you've read the upgrade notes. That's what we're looking at down here before proceeding and then press enter to continue or control C to abort. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And of course, this is going to call in a whole bunch of other things. Now, if you read down here, it says you may be asked to approve some new packages. You may be replacing certain configuration files, but they said this is not relevant to the Proxmox BE upgrade. So you can choose what's most appropriate for your setup. Yeah, typically that would not be uh, important to an upgrade, but it is important to your installation because that is your configuration. But So right now it's asking me to look through the release notes here. And I'll just go through it and take a look and see if there's anything else. There's some, looks like there's some information about some problems with APT. They talk about the <clears throat> the changing of the bridge MAC address, which they already had in the notes down here, and there's some other stuff. I'm, I, you know, I can. This goes on forever. I'm not going to worry about that. I have already run the check, and so I'm assuming we're all good. And then it's asking me to confirm the keyboard layout. I'll do that. There's probably going to be a few things that's going to replace my issue file. And I'm just telling it to keep it. And then it should go along here for a while. I'll go ahead and pause the video. Uh, and then we'll come back. Oops, looks like we came back really fast <laughs> before I could even get started. 
So it's asking me that uh, there's system services that need to be restarted. Do I want to be prompted for each or just go ahead and restart them? I, I don't have anything running on this system right now. So, yeah, you can just restart them. SSH, it's not going to boot me off. So uh, don't worry about that. It can upgrade the packages. And then when I do the reboot, that will take effect. So I'll just go ahead and pause this until the next... Uh, and the next time it stops me for a question. Okay, so it's stopping me that says, I found update password has found some differences between your system accounts and the current Debian defaults. So it's it's advisable to allow update password to change your system, which I am going to let it do. And then we'll let it continue on again until the next time it stops, if it stops. And it has stopped me again. It's saying that there's a new configuration for SSH. You can see right here, SSH, SSH is available. Uh, yeah, so it's going to ask me if I want to keep the local one or put the maintainer's version out. I want to keep the local version. Um, I do have some changes that I have made to harden it. And so I want to keep those. So we'll, we'll come back as soon as it's done. I think that's the last one. Well, no, as it turns out, there is one more to do, and that's the APT files. I want to keep my version because, as you know, I have the, the uh, well, I, I have commented out that one, and I have also modified the other one. I think I can just let this go at this point. It, it's just going to generate the an NRD image and probably update my grub. I'm hoping that's what it does. Yeah, okay, so we're done. And <clears throat> there's some information here about... So I don't see anything that says this is a bad thing. I mean, no news is good news, right? So it's looking like <clears throat> we're good. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and at this point just reboot. And we will see what we get. Let me, uh, let me drag this over so that you can see what's going on. <clears throat> this is the uh, uh, vert man the vert manager that I'm running this on. I tried to run this under boxes and it did, it did not it was not happy. So okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. And we'll come over here, and I'll go, this is still showing as you can see six four. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out, and then we'll log back in. So now we're at seven point zero dash nine. Uh, I can check to see if there is. Let me go up here and see if there's any update. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, we're all good. Nothing to do. So, uh, I the second test I'm going to do here is to make sure that I can launch my Ubuntu. And, of course, it stick, stuck this over here. So, I'm waiting for it to come up. <clears throat> There it is. Well, that's certainly a good sign. And did it work? Yes, it did. So at this point, there are some other steps here that you can do. So you'll notice there's after the Proxmex VE upgrade they have for clusters. And it does say right here, you'll want to check all nodes that are up and running on the latest package versions. Um, and then hyperconverge, there's the checklist. If you saw any of these error messages and I didn't see them, they talk a little bit about some things you might run into and some suggestions for how to mitigate them. And then failing to upgrade that you can force it. I didn't have that problem. There's also a possibility you could have a boot failure. Now, 
one of the things on if when I was running this on my <clears throat> production server is it was talking about the backups that I'm using are snapshots right of the virtual machine and it's given me an error that says well hey you've got you've got a max uh, copies of two in here which means that I'll keep up to two snapshots and then it'll start to overwrite that's been deprecated they now have a new way of doing that and it suggested that I make that configuration change I believe under 6.4 or maybe it's saying I'm not clear on it I don't see it in here uh, what to do with that so yeah I'm not clear if I do it ahead of time or what but it does show up in the air and they're very explicit that if you are seeing warnings or error messages to fix those before you go on because that could prevent you from finishing this as always you'll want to you know do your homework with your server to make sure everything is working so yeah this looks pretty good um i don't know what kind of issues i'm going to run into when i actually port this but i'm going to go ahead and shut this down that's all i needed for today and while i'm doing that i will go ahead and f switch back here i i hope that this helps you and looking at the how to do the installation upgrade now you'll want to now in my case it, it might have changed the mac address but but that could cause some issues for you uh particularly if you're blocking access to the host or whatever so yeah that could cause some issues for you and you may have to upgrade whatever firewalls or whatever other software you have that relies on the mac address remaining the same that's all i had i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe hope to see you all again real soon and good luck Bye-bye.